Hola, good morning, buenos dias, it's so good to see you, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today, it's your girl Daniela, Miss For Lizard, the planning diva, and I'm super inspired with this idea that I have. Today, I am going to be updating a spread that I did back in July. This is a spread that um, <laughs> I absolutely hate. I remember this week. It was a super busy week for me and I just didn't have the time or the energy to really invest in doing like a fully thought out spread. I remember I just kind of was like dropping stickers left and right without really caring whether they coordinated or whatever. And then I just moved on. This was such a busy week for me here. And this is the month that I chose to use um, the dashboard um, planner from Jungle Vibes. So I grabbed this divider and these pages from that Jungle Vibes um, divider and I really like, or I mean planner. So I really like my monthly calendar. I love what I've been doing with it in terms of like just writing like the most interesting thing, the most memorable thing that happened to me that day. I really like my monthly calendar. This month was, abs I mean, this week was insane. I was super, super busy. And then this week I got back into it. This is Cafecito Designs and I really like this spread a lot. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with um, Cafecito Designs. And then this week was my PhD defense, and so that's why I was so busy um, in earlier weeks. I was just preparing for that defense, and I actually updated this already. I had like a checklist over here, which it was kind of ugly, and I didn't like it, and every time I looked at it, I didn't like it. And it was functional when I first used it, but I decided to cover it up with scrapbook paper and this super cute photo of me in my PhD gown. And then the following week, I also kind of updated it. I had these two pictures floating around and I just didn't have room to add them to the spread. And so I just cut out some scrapbook paper, added some stickers, glued the photos down and called it a day. I'm tempted to, you know, do something here on the back, but for now it's just gonna be like this. I didn't want to toss these photos and I didn't have anywhere else I could put them. So I just put them here on this little scrapbook insert. I think it turned out really cute. Yeah, this month's spreads were kind of all over the place because I was just so busy. And whenever I sat down to scrapbook, I always had like some random sticker pages that didn't really go well with each other. And so, yeah, um, a lot of these spreads I just don't really like. Like this spread is one that I'm also thinking of updating at some point because it's just so weird and random and ugly in my opinion. Like I wanna save some of the stickers um, from, this, uh, from this spread, but I don't know. I just, I need to figure out what to do with this, um, with this spread here. This thing is like so ugly to me. Um, it's so disjointed. Like you can tell that I was using like a certain, you know, sticker pack and colors on this half. And then I kind of changed that in, on this half. And it's just so weird to me. And I really want to change this, um, that, or update that spread. But we're going to start off with the first spread here that, um, that I want to update this random spread here. And I just want to normalize, you know, going back to spreads from past weeks and updating them to just make them nicer, make them better, make them more enjoyable. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. If you have the time and energy to go back and update a spread, I think you should definitely go and do that. Particularly because, you know, at the end of the year, we love flipping back through our planners and seeing everything we've done. And so it's kind of nice to be able to go back and, um, flip through a planner where all your spreads you feel pretty good about and pretty happy about. And um, of course you don't have to do this. You don't have to update, you know, past spreads to make them nicer. You can just let them be. But right now I have the time, I have the energy. The spread has always bugged me and it would bring me a lot of joy to update it now that I have some time to do so. So we're gonna go ahead and update the spread and just make it nicer. And I think what I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with um, Sweet Sunshine from uh, Craft Smart. I have my seasonal mega sticker book from the Happy Planner. 
And I'm also thinking of bringing in my mega sticker book, um, The Brights from The Happy Planner. It, it looks like I was trying to go for a summer spread here, and so I kind of want to retain that aesthetic. I want to, you know, keep it true to the original as much as possible, and so, so I'm going to continue to use, like, a summer aesthetic. I have my undo here, which is going to be needed. Um, and the first thing that I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna start off with this page and I'm gonna pick up these stickers right here because I think that they don't really go with the theme. So um, I, I'm just gonna pull these up. So let's drop this undo here. Okay, and because I have so much space here in these sections that I have really nothing to write about, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this scrapbook paper um, to just like cover this all up. I think that would be a really cool look and then maybe I can use it as like a little background for something. I could basically use this entire space as just like a little like collage here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down. Perfect. And then I can just cut, um, cut the excess off. Perfect. I'm gonna have to cut, um, I'm gonna have to punch the holes out again, but that's no problem. So I'm actually thinking of using my Bees, Birds, and Butterflies sticker anthology. This I got at Barnes and Nobles. It's from the DK Publisher. I'm not sure um, what that stands for, but it's DK Publishing. You can get these books at Barnes and Nobles. They're fantastic. But I'm thinking of making like a little birds and butterflies um, scene here on the scrapbook paper. I think that's the move because this week was actually um, the week of the International Union of Social Insect Scientists. That's why I was super, super busy this week because there was a, I think, four-day conference in town. It actually happened in San Diego this year. It's a conference for everyone who researches, studies social insects such as honeybees and wasps and ants and termites. And so I was actually going to the conference um, Monday through Thursday. Yeah, it was Monday through Thursday, and I would wake up like at 6 in the morning, take the bus downtown where the conference was at, which was about an hour and a half ride from me where I live currently, um, spend all day at the conference, go to an exhausting amount of scientific talks, network, chat, do work. Meanwhile, at some point during the conference, because I had things to get done, I was preparing for my PhD defense around this time. So it was it was definitely a lot going on this week. So that's why <laughs> so that's why my spread was so like plain and ugly because yeah, there was this conference going on and. It would be fun to make this little scene um, of like birds and butterflies and ants and other insects to kind of represent like that that conference was happening around this time. And I can grab my unique alpha fonts sticker book um, to write out IUSSI here um, on the scrapbook paper. So let's pull up some nice letters. I'm hoping to get like maybe a darker font. Um, I wish there was, oh, like these. I think these would be perfect. I wish they were in lowercase though. I kind of want uppercase. Let's see. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find a good, oh, may, these would be really nice, but I don't know if I have enough. I U S S. I don't think I have enough. Oh no, I think I do. Do you think I can use these? I think I can use these. So 
I'm going to spell out I-U-S-S-I -S -S -I here. I, the International Union, where's my U? International Union. For the study, I think that's what this is, uh, what this stands for. International Union for the Study of Social Insects. Perfect. And then I have a bunch of cool stickers here. These are so awesome. So I can just pull out a couple. It's likely that a lot of these bees aren't social bees. They could be solitary bees, um, but I, I honestly don't know um, what species these bees and wasps are. But we'll just plop them down on the page. So it'll be fine. No one is going to be fact checking my planner spreads, so I think we'll be okay. This book is just fantastic. It is so amazing. It's beautiful. I wish I had some ant stickers as well, but I do not have any ant stickers. I should make some, honestly. <laughs> Okay, awesome. I really love how this is turning out already. So let's just uh, punch this, punch this piece of paper. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this page over here. And like I said, I think I might try to keep it summer themed because I was obviously trying to go for a summer theme here. And I think I'm just gonna plop down stickers and try to figure out um, how I'm going to make this look a little bit cuter. So we're just gonna start off with putting this there. That looks cute. Um, and then maybe what I can do is add some bright this bright yellow washi tape right on top of it like so Ooh, I didn't realize that this that that sticker was gonna cover the, the hole there so let's punch it out make sure that it's easy to close okay I really need to get that crocodile. It's gotten to the point that um, that I really feel like I would benefit from the crocodile. So let's put this back in. Oh, I have sticker books everywhere. It's always nice to have a messy craft desk. And then I think I could use this really, really cute washi right here with the bees. I think that would be really appropriate. So let me just layer this on top of um, that washi tape, like so. Cut off that piece there. And then I could add some right here. And then maybe some, I need to get rid of this Pokemon sticker. I was trying to sprinkle like the Pokemon stickers throughout my um, my spread, but I don't think it was really working. I can add some more of this beautiful bright yellow washi right here. Perfect. And then maybe some more of this right here. Cute, cute. Ugh. I hate when my washi kind of like folds on itself. Ugh, oh no. Let me cut off that little end there. There we go. It's so much more brighter. I like it so far. 
And then I think I'll add just a little bit of washi um, from this strip up here at the top. Be happy, live colorfully, like so. And I guess I could add some more here, like this. The future's bright, there we go. It's already so much brighter and happier. What do you think? I already am loving it um, a lot more than uh, what was there previously. Okay, so I'm gonna peel up this pineapple sticker if I can. Um, I put the sticker down because I needed to cut my pineapple and it doesn't wanna peel up. So let's see if I can undo this. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Ugh, oh, undo is such magic. I can grab this less Monday, more summer sticker and pop that up here at the top. And this pineapple, I can just add right here, cut pineapple. Okay, and actually for this section here on Friday, I actually went to the beach. I took a beach day with my friend and so I kind of want to add like some cute like girls going to the beach. I have my Wrong Wrong seasonal sticker book here. This is actually the second one I've, I've, I've had. Um, I finished the first one um, that I had and so I bought a second one. But yeah, I'm thinking of peeling up these stickers and kind of just redoing this section here. So let's do that. So I'm gonna take the summertime memory sticker and actually I might even go ahead and like put this higher up because I want to leave some room down here to add more stickers. So I'm thinking, um, let's see, I can add this pink one as well. I can add this right, I can add this, I'll put this one right here and I'll cover up the text in a second, but I'll add that there and then let's see. What else should I put? Let's grab some boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans and use these to kind of cover up some of the text there. So let's see, I'll put this box down there. And I can white out this text here. Ah, that was not a good job. And then I can cover that with a sticker. I'll put sunshine on my mind sticker right there. Oh no, it's a little bit too long, but I can cut off that bit. And I'm thinking of covering this sticker with another dark blue sticker, um, like one of these here thinking of covering it and I can just rewrite um, what was there in this sticker. Let me white out this text here. Okay, and I kind of want to put something there to cover up that situation. Actually, let me white out all this right here and then I can add like maybe another girl um, there was a cute one that I wanted to add. This girl right here, Summer Vibes. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can pull up this sticker. Ugh, it's gonna want some undo. Okay, I'm really liking it so far. I think it looks so much better than before, a lot more filled out. 
and I just I love it I love the girls very beachy um, it was a great day at the beach so yeah it's been nice I think the next thing I'm gonna do is fix this um, this box over here so on Saturday I actually hung out with that same friend that I hung out with to go to the beach and um, we went up to her place and we uh, we did some home decoration renovation stuff she wanted some help renovating her room and so we went up there and we hung out all day and renovated her place it was a lot of fun um, and so yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I think I might grab a couple more blue boxes here let's see um maybe this one and then also my cafecito designs box arrived which is awesome so i kind of want to add um two boxes um for both of those things and here maybe i'll light this out light this out Maybe what I can do is put this here and then this here. Add this little today sticker and then the girls weekend sticker. And I want to cover up this mess over here. So I'm thinking of adding maybe some nice decorations, a quote. Let's see. What's a good, ooh, I love these like happy face stickers. I might add one somewhere. Let's see, maybe, uh, where should I add this? Maybe right here to cover that eight. <laughs> maybe this sticker right here. It's a fun one. Plop that down there. And I kind of want to add something right here. So maybe let's go into the Sweet Sunshine book. And look at all the bright stickers that they have. Ooh, I really like these sun stickers. I might add one um, up here somewhere. Where should I put it? Maybe like right there. Okay, let's see. What can I add right there? Mm. Ooh, I really like this bright red shiny bee sticker. I think it would look really good here on the page because again this was the week of the iussi conference and so this would fit really well i think i'm gonna peel up this hello weekend sticker i think it's kind of just in the way maybe i can put it down here hello weekend yeah that's fine and then maybe add this like right here Maybe like right here. Yeah, I like that, that's cute. Okay, and the last thing that I wanna do is add something in this little section right here because you know me, I love just filling up my pages. So what about this Rise and Shine sticker? Like right there. Yeah, I think that's fine. And I think we are done here in terms of stickers. So that was really fun and I think it looks like a thousand percent better than what it looked like before. It's so much fuller and it just looks happier. Okay, I actually kind of want to add um, just like a little piece of yellow washi up here. Just like so, like that, yeah. Okay, and then maybe a sticker up here. Uh, I gotta stop, but um, I just can't, I can't. What about a lemonade sticker? I think that would be fun. Just another little icon sticker right here. Perfect. What about some what about some watermelon? Let's just let's just add a watermelon like right there. It's perfect. Okay, I think I need to step away from the page. Okay, the last thing that I gotta do, um, and this is gonna be the last thing, um, is I'm gonna write down um what happened this week so i remember you know from reading um what i just covered up what happened this week so i'm gonna go ahead and write down everything again and uh, look at this these were my favorite pens i got like a few of these um last week and my puppy has chewed up 
all of them. I'm so upset. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly write down, um, rewrite down everything that happened, and then we'll be done. Okay, and we are done here. This is the finished spread and it looks so much better than what, you know, it was before. I think it looks super, super cute and fun and bright and summery and it just makes me happy to look at it. And I think what I'm going to do next is, I think I'm gonna um, redo this spread at some point, maybe next week, but for now, I'm happy to have updated just this one. And as for those stickers that I peeled off from the page, I actually kind of want to put this one here. Um, I kind of want to peel up this Pokemon sticker. I don't even know why I put this there, honestly. It doesn't go at all with, um, with, the, with the spread, but I'm going to add this die cut sticker right here. Let me just try to like add some adhesive to the back because I do want to use this sticker. Okay, let's put that down there. Hopefully it doesn't um doesn't cause this page to stick. Okay, it doesn't really. Okay, I think it's fine. Alright. Anyways, I'm very, very happy with how this spread came out. It just it just looks so much better and I love flipping through my planner and every time I'd flip through it I would always get annoyed when I saw that sp this spread but now it just makes my heart sing so I'm very happy um, that we updated it and now it just looks a thousand times better but don't be afraid to go back in and you know redo some spreads that you you weren't too happy with and it just helps you be come like better at understanding and knowing your preferred style and aesthetic and what makes you happy so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for spending some time with me here today and i hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe stay blessed and happy planning bye